Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm coming at y'all today with a quick get ready with me video. Um, I was motivated to show how my makeup typically looks on a day when I'm going to work if I decide to wear makeup. I'm just giving y'all a little bit of motivation on how you can do your makeup on a on a morning where you have to be at work so it's needing to be a little bit quicker and bam you want to still look a little snazzy so my go-to always for a up amped up look is red lipstick i don't go wrong with red lipstick as long as i have red lipstick my face will look like it's doing a lot more than what it is so let me go right into this video and show you guys how you can achieve a really quick makeup on a work day when you don't have much time and if i'm looking over to the side a little bit my mirror is right here so i'm not looking crazy i'm just looking at my mirror so i always 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 start off with um eyebrows first like that's just my routine i start with my eyebrows first so that's what we gonna get right into i was supposed to be filming for my vlog y'all i'm actually <laughs> vlogging at the same time so you should be able to see that vlog on my channel very soon So next, I just go in with like my primer, my um, poor, what is this, poor professional by Benefit. And I just go over my face with this. So I start with that, go in with the primer. And I don't always wear foundations on work days, but some work days I'm feeling a little snazzy and I may want to put on foundation. I'm going to use my NARS uh, foundation today, the Luminous All Day Weightless. It's really good to wear. It's going to keep you um, straight for about eight hours. So it's good work day makeup and it's not really fully full coverage. It's light coverage. So I like that about it. So I'm wearing my NARS. And I take just like two pumps on the back of my hand to start. I like to put it on the back of my hand, but then still take my finger and apply it to my face. Now, I am in the color Cadiz on this um, NARS foundation. And I bought this. I want to say I bought this in like the summer. So I hope it still match well. It's looking a little reddish for what I look like now. It's now winter and I'm definitely in my winter skin. So... Hopefully this looks just as good right now. I think I'll be good. I'll just blend this all in real quick. I blend for a minute because I want this to look really sheer. Hence why I love using sponges. Because I'm I go for more of a sheer coverage. I don't really like that whole um like thick cake don't look. And I do apologize if my lighting is going in and out because this sun, it always wanna play with me when I film my videos. Like quit playing with me. But the sun keeps coming up and down or in and out of the clouds, and it's really annoying because my lighting may be changing, but I do apologize for that. After I do my eyebrows, my foundation, I usually go right into contour. So I'm just going to line where my contour would go, which is right under your cheekbones. And I wanted to start using a smaller brush to like contour with, because I, I usually would like pinch my beauty blender and blend it in. 
because I um like I said I like a sheer coverage I like how this blends it out like almost seamlessly so I'm still gonna use my beauty blender today but I think I want to start using like a small brush to blend my liquid I mean my cream contour out with so if y'all have any suggestions on a brush that may work well for blending out contour please leave it in the comment section down below because I would love to try a brush instead of using a sponge all the time Y'all, the sun do not want to let me be great today. I'm getting real angry. So here it come, here it is going coming back out. What I was saying was I don't I don't contour my nose on a daily basis whatsoever. I just sometimes I'll be like, man, eh, let me go and just throw it on. It doesn't take long at all. And I don't highlight on a daily basis, but this is a quick makeup um for work. And if I have the time, if I have a few um if my job, like let's say if I got an hour or so to get ready before I need to be out the house for work, then yeah, I would do all these steps. So I'm going to do a natural, a natural um, highlight. This is almost my skin comp, my skin tone, so it's not no dramatic highlight. I just put the concealer under my eyes and I just go pattern motion on top of my foundation. Okay, so the next thing that I would go into would be uh, my powders for setting all of this that I just put on my face. And I'm going to just use my It's My Ray Ray palette. I've been grabbing this every day now because it's such a all-in-one palette. I don't have to go drop, grab a million different things. I have everything right here. For setting my under eye concealer, I like using this Ruby Kisses Set and Forget powder. It's like a dupe for banana powder. And I just go right under my eye with it. Okay. There we go. It's like dusty up in this thing. But I'll go ahead and do that <laughs> under my eyes. And then I'll go in with this contour brush that I use. Well, it's really a complexion brush. I just pinch it and use it like a contour. So I like using Brownie Bite. It's really a dramatic contour, but sometimes I may dip into Brownie Bite and then go into Mocha just a little bit if it's too much. So Brownie Bite it is to start off. So now I'm going into Mocha because this is what I mean. Like I go into Mocha next and I try to like uh, make it a little more subtle. But I, I really love the It's My Ray Ray palette. Like, she did a really good job with this palette. So there we go. It's there. And now I just do these motions to, like, blend it out. Do the other side. Pinch. Pinch my brush and brush backward into my hairline like this. And I just blend it out. Okay, so my favorite powder brush is the Elf Flat Top Powder Brush, and I just go right in and dust the way that, that Ruby Kisses powder that I put on my face. I don't leave that on there long because I'm not a baking type of person, so I don't leave it on there long at all. Brush it away quickly, like so. And then I go into my Mineralized Skin Finish by MAC. And I take that all over the rest of my face. And sometimes I go like over the contour to subtle it out some. But I go all over. So after I've done my face, all I like to go into is a little bit of subtleness on the eyes. I have my It's My Ray Ray palette. Let me see if it's a eyeshadow in here that I think. Yeah, I use uh, Control Freak pretty often. So, Control Freak is like an almost flesh tone color. And I just go right into Control Freak into the crease of my eye. Real subtle in the crease. To give it like some definition and it's not just nothing going on. So, I will go right in the crease with Control Freak. Thing for me that I do typically do. That I know some people don't is I will go right in and just do only a crease color 
and like no lid color, no brow bone color, just a crease color. After I do that, I go in with my eyeliner and I line my lid. Bam. I'm really good at doing one swipe liner if I hold my eye. After I've done my eyeliner, go right in with some mascara. Step that I do is my highlights and my lipstick and this is the exact order that I do my makeup in most mornings. So I take this little F fan brush and I go back into my It's My Ray Ray palette with Radiant which has been my favorite right now and I highlight my face depending on how bold of a highlight I'm going for which is usually nine times out of ten. Going for a bow, I just kind of go in multiple times with radiant and highlights. Depending on how I'm feeling, bridge my nose, bam. So that is everything as far as the face goes. Last thing I may do is um, take my spoolie end of my eyebrow pencil and brush it out a little bit more. And sometimes I go on top of my eyebrows with clear mascara, but not always. And today, I didn't grab it, so I'm not going to do it. I'm going to do my lips, which is I'm going to use the Sephora Cream Lip Satin in Always Red, my favorite red. I used to love Ruby Woo, but Ruby Woo is a little bit drying. So this Cream Lip Satin is the bomb from Sephora. It goes on wet and it dries extra matte. You, and when I tell you... When I tell you, girl, that this stuff don't move, it does not really move. Like, once it's on your lips, it's on there. It's like, on there. Get you some Sephora Cream Lip Satins. I just go in. Look how it goes on, like butter. I love it. Make sure when you're wearing a bold lipstick like red, you make sure you don't have it on your teeth. And another tip is you can take your finger and just pull it out like that and it'll get it off. I am going to let this dry, do its thing, and I'll be right back with my close-ups. <laughs> 